Hi there. I'll send, oh, okay. I'll send recording. you the recording after our session. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing this. I'm so excited. Um, it's so my nervous. honor. Yeah. Should I, um, do I share? I mean, I do have some specific things I was wondering if you could look at. Sure. Is that okay to share? Okay. I'm really, my whole, I, I feel like happiness in life depends on the health and well-being of my children. And I'm sure a lot of parents are like this, but I'm kind of worried about their health. Um, they're really tall for their age. They had extra wisdom teeth and I'm like Googling around and on the internet and I'm sort of scaring myself with the possibility of what it might be. I'm trying to, they're 26 years old almost and, uh, trying to get them to go to the doctor and just, you know, be sure that they're, and just, I don't know if you can tune into them. They're all like consenting to anything that I do. Um, so yeah, I just want to check in with them if, if you're able to at some point in the reading. Sure, absolutely. Okay, right. so um, that being mentioned, is there anything else that you would specifically like to address? Well, just um, I'm getting a lot of interesting communications about Balthor. If anything comes through about that, I don't know what to trust, what to believe. I don't feel as connected as I used to. I, I just feel I'm just more just coping with life than thriving. I, I just I don't feel as good as I could be and makes me concerned about the future, uh, where we are at the planet, and maybe anything about my soul, my agreements, just I've lost all connection with not all of it, but even what to believe about past readings I've gotten. I just I just need almost like a reconfirmation um about what 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 I should be focusing on and striving for. Like sometimes I'm like, should I just step away from the public eye? Does it even matter? I don't know. Understood. Just weird stuff like that. Understood. <laughs> Understood. So, um, so think of this as an energy car wash, uh, me being the car wash person, and uh, you being the person who has uh, saved the life of somebody I love dearly. So I'm doing this with absolute love and delight and uh, doing the absolute best I can lovingly. So um, that being said, uh, I would like to begin. So, <sighs> heavy interference, heavy interference, bombardment, I would like to say. <sighs> like, imagine um, the city of Stalingrad after it was liberated. All these ricochet bullet holes, and yet you stand. So, constant energetic bombardment, but you stand strong will cut and remove everything. So I'm not going to mention anything that I cannot fix. Whatever I mention, we will fix conclusively right in this session. So uh, allow me to uh, clear the energy around me. Every instrument is cleansed, charged and prepared. Uh, so am I. So just uh, lighting the sage. So uh, let's use Palo Santo. Keeping all the good stuff in. And I'm getting streams of information, soul contracts and whatnot, uh, bloodline stuff, and all very powerful, all extremely positive, monumental. I'm getting you are the central pillar among many few central pillars that hold up the structure. Uh, the structure being disillusion, um, removal of distortion. So let's cleanse the energy and okay. So I'm going to start with the singing bowl, an additional layer of cleansing, but it will also help me connect with you further. All is preordained. You are in your north node. You are doing uh, what is aligned with your highest soul purpose. You have been doing so, but also taking on more uh, in the sense that not only completing your journey, but assisting countless others in com completing their journey. 
um, supporting them. Again, the central pillar, uh, the central trunk of a massive tree. And this is the role that you are holding, holding energetic space. And so that makes sense that they would target you being the central column, holding up the majority of the energetic burden while the branches lean on you, while you connect the roots to the branches, while you're the main part of this tree of life, so to speak, in this domain. And so they would have tried to um, turn you. That has failed early on. Then they would have tried to break you. That has failed early on. So you are incorruptible, unbreakable. So then the next best thing would be to try to bury you in low-level, low-grade attacks, like a denial-of-service attack to a website. Keep bombarding a website with traffic and it doesn't work. So that's the approach that is currently ongoing. Uh, okay, so I'll start with the Soul Star. Going through every sing single energy point in the body, we'll clean them one by one by one by one, restoring that sense of calm because right now I'm getting a lot of noise. Um, signal to noise ratio. The clarity is being drowned in all this noise. None of it is yours. So let's start with the higher chakras and bring down this sense of anxiety. So starting with the soul star. Okay, I'm going to do an energetic flashbang. Uh, the just go supernova. Too much stuff is going on around you. Let's scatter. We are going to scatter all of it away and then uh, um, restore some of the defenses that have worked valiantly and bring them back to their full potential. Okay. And by the way, through this healing, a lot of uh, the ancestral stuff will be resolved also. As we approach that, I will explain what I perceive and share with you. First of all, it's too crowded here. Let's get rid of these little, like, um, little minions trying to interfere with you. Okay. Om Vajra Kili Kilaya Sarva Vignam Vam Hum Pei. Around you. I light divine fire of protection and illumination. All that does not serve your highest good, I peg down permanently and remove from your existence in all dimensions and domains that consciousness exists. Off you go, Riff Raff. Okay, that's good. Now we can have a look at your own energy. So, Soul Star, powerfully connected. Uh, let's do some repair. This is your connection to your infinite being. Let's do some cleansing. I use a variety of shamanic rattles, each from a different tree with different energy. This is the Sequoia. Very, very cleansing. So, cleansing your Soul Star. And now using obsidian to absorb what we broke up into the consistency of fine dry sand. So vacuuming every last piece out of your energy. Perfect. So the attack would have started from the very boundaries of physicality, from high vibrations, the soul star, crown included, going down into the earth star. Um, again, uh, bullet holes, but only penetrating surface level. The core energy is intact. So kudos to you. Very, very, very good. Okay, Soul Star is good. Let's look at the bridge connecting Soul Star to Crown. <sighs> Healthy, but again, mm, could use some boosting. So calling to my beloved, beloved source of all sources, the source of all things in all domains. Bless this healing. And I call for your light and healing, pulling in light into the soul star and every photon spiraling down into the crown leaves a trail of light, rebuilding in perfection, 
encouraging more light from soul star to crown repairing the bridge so the intuition strengthens back to its full potential encouraging more light uh, a lot going on with the crown uh, ai interference plugged in many of them let's do a general sweep and cleansing i'm going to use the egyptian system they use this to clean entire temple complexes i'm going to use it just to shift these out of your dimension and then remove them from the crown these would cause you agitation all these incessant thoughts all these little guys pro bombarding your conscious mind with cyclical thoughts as soon as i remove them you'll feel the relief okay so let's dislodge shifting them into a neighboring dimension okay and very gently from the right side of your head i'm going in and then just dislodging them and moving them out okay reaching the central column and pushing them to the left side of the head exiting the boundaries of the body exiting your aura and holding them by the tail let's see if they can be evolved no we'll burn them all so i'm going to use magnolia divine feminine brilliant soft healing energy soothing the nervous system let me see how many puncture wounds there are one two three four five six seven they're eight and not equidistant. It's like kind of ricochets. So eight categories of incessant cyclical thoughts. These are now out. <sighs> Pulling in more light, washing the crown. And now going into the head, relaxing your brain, every single neuron in the brain, removing the agitation the parasitic thoughts washing it out now going into the base of the brain and into the spinal cord washing every single nerve and all nerves going into the body mid torso going down towards the sacral plexus and tailbone and the nerves branching out into the hips and legs pulling in more light and washing everything down regulating the nervous system restoring balance okay now we can start looking at the crown itself slightly out of orientation no problem encouraging it into the correct orientation okay good 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 we got rid of probably 20 percent of the whole attack these ai are nasty things they, they're restless they just continue okay better so um the more we remove this stuff that doesn't belong the more you can be observed and it will emerge naturally so crown i'm not seeing the color let's look at third eye jade gate throat powerful heart uh, injury uh, energetic injury to the heart uh, emotional injury betrayal heartbreak loss that kind of thing not all from this lifetime again we'll, we'll, we'll remove all of that from your energy the cords pulling on you causing emotional turbulence okay and so once the heart is healthy the energy can circulate into the higher chakras with the heart being at a state of injury it impedes that okay so let's cleanse the crown orientation good let's just cleanse gentle cleansing perfect okay that didn't take much you've got a strong mind so no matter how much distortion came in you just naturally um repelled it 
out of your energy. So let's just do some cleansing on the crown. Third eye. Interference. This is the mechanism of manifestation. I'm feeling pressure, as in constriction, like a vice or some sort of a device constricting the third eye. And with expansion, that naturally would occur. The more light you pull in, the more powerful you become. This was causing you discomfort. Um, let's get this. It's, it's crude, low-grade, mechanical, but effective. Like a vice, pretty much. So let's move it out of your energy, shifting its dimension. Okay, there we go. A lot of the cognitive and, and, and thought pattern discomfort is coming from this little thing. Okay, so gently going in from the right side of your head and shifting it. Okay, it's not snagging on anything. Perfect. Uh, moving it off the third eye. Now moving it out of the boundaries of the body, out of your energy. And let's burn that. Let's just use the Divine Feminine, the healing energy. Heal. Just left some compression. Compression marks in the third eye. Restriction. So that's removed now. Let's give it some energy. First heal it with the Feminine. And now let's give it energy. Blow it up. Give it life again with the Masculine. Cedar. Okay, much better. Uh, the sensation of uh, compression or restriction is lifted. So pulling in more light. As we progress, I'm just going to wash the system with pure light. Beloved, beloved, source of all sources. Bless this healing so it is aligned with the highest good. Our greatest soul purpose, greatest life. Send in fresh light. So pulling in fresh Light and life force never circulated before. Running through Soul Star, through the repaired bridge into Crown, and now washing the third eye. Going to the back of your head, the Jade Gate. Minimal damage, working perfectly. So this is your connection to other aspects of your infinite self. Packets of information, not the intuition, is it this or this, um, say, the entire history of a species, how to construct energetic mechanisms, all coming in in one go, minimal cleansing, Jade Gate is good. So most of the interference was to the bridge, crown and third eye. Um, peace of mind and your ability to clearly manifest, and they went heavy, um, abnormally um, heavy. But again, with what you are doing, you would have uh, been visible and every little black magician who's read a grimoire or two would have tried. So, no problem. Soul star, crown, third eye, thumbs up, jade gate, little cleansing. And let's remove what we broke up. Perfect. Okay. Now, pulling the stream of light into the throat. Throat is healthy and powerful. Okay, good. All the rest is emotional. Emotional turmoil, uh, betrayal, all that stuff. None of it is yours. It is all just to uh, try to make your journey more difficult. And I'm feeling it also in the sacral and solar plexus. So the emotional stuff. Uh, we'll lift that off your energy and you'll be your glorious self. So, okay. Higher heart, perfectly healthy, unconditional love to everyone and everything. Okay, now the heart itself. Okay, my esteemed friend, Laura. As divine beings, we love. Uh, sometimes we get hurt through heartbreak, loss, betrayal, and so on. 
and every time this occurs, uh, this perfect jewel that is the heart is chipped or cracked or a cord is attached. And so the way we would go about repairing this jewel is to melt it and cast it brand new. As it liquefies, we'll get all that cordage out and then heat it up and bring it to its full potential. So uh, gently, respectfully, entering through the front of the chest and supporting the heart from underneath like a soft pillow from both sides and all the love that you have extended lifetime after lifetime. Let's call this back and start the healing process with your own loving energy. Okay, warming the heart. There we go. That's better. I'm, I'm feeling, uh, dear Laura, what you are feeling. Kudos to you for being so resilient. It is not an easy uh, feeling. Very heavy. But it's the end. We're going to get rid of all of it. Okay. Heating the heart. Warming it up. So around the heart, there's um, like a layer of um, black goo or tar. Let's expel, expel it. Om Vajra Kili Kilaya Sarva Vignam Vam Hum Pei. The interference with your heart. I peg down and I remove from the boundaries of your consciousness in all domains that consciousness exists. Be gone. Okay, that's better. So that is removed from around the heart. Now let's keep warming the heart. It's all pulling up now from the solar plexus and sacral into the heart center. Let's expel all this darkness that is not yours. All this betrayal from you in all domains that you exist. You're doing this in many places, not just this aspect, this body. So let's heal all of you. So giving you the violet fire around the heart, giving you the green flame and warming the heart up. So losing solidity, becoming wobbly like jello, warming it up more. And now it's starting to melt from the edges inward. Okay, now becoming completely liquid. I'm going to go from behind the heart and gently scoop up all this cordage. It's like uh, steel scrubbing wire that you scrub pots and pans, that kind of consistency. Okay, pulling it out of the heart chakra, out of the heart chakra, pulling it out of the boundaries of the body. Okay, and out of your energy. Let's burn that. Oh, there we go. There we go. A lot better. So let's continue warming up your heart. Heating up the liquid is starting to circulate again. A lot of that heaviness is lifting. That's good. Let's heat up the heart even further. And so now it's starting to bubble and evaporate. Let's give it more energy, more loving energy. Okay, so now it's starting to evaporate. Let's keep heating it up. Every last little droplet is turning into a gas. And so now it is completely free. And so let's heat the gas up, turning it into a plasma. Let's get that sun going. Okay, turned into a sun, brilliant emerald sun in the center of the chest. So let's keep the heart at this energy level. Now with deep, calm breathing, with every breath in, you're strengthening the sun. And with every exhalation, whatever is burning is being pushed out of your energy. So 
So anything that we might have missed is now burning. It cannot exist in this energy level. Okay, now we got rid of about 40% of the heaviness. Okay, so color is now returning. Throat was powerful, but Jade Gate, Third Eye and Crown just got their life force back. So that uh, barrier, the tar, the goo around the heart was preventing energy reaching the higher chakras. Oof, okay, I'm able to breathe again. That's good. Okay, good. And, and that didn't take long. See, it couldn't penetrate the boundary of your energy. It was just overloading, trying to suffocate, prevent the light from making it out. Okay, so I'm going to leave the heart at this level of energy. It will support the higher functions uh, and you can absolutely handle this. Leaving it at this energy state has the benefit that it will burn any cord that tries to reattach to you again. It will not stick, it will burn away. Okay, so now let's move to the solar plexus. This one is probably the majority of what is left. Out of all the heaviness, this is probably half of it. The nature of injury to the solar plexus, uh, this, this is when people cause you pain with their words. It is an easy injury to inflict on others. Some are more intentional with this, some just do it without knowing the damage they cause. So uh, I'm going to move all of it out of your, your, your energy shift its phase uh, using the Sistrum. Let's get rid of the whole thing in one go. So shifting it out of your phase. Okay. Uh, gently entering below the rib cage on the left side and now moving through the solar plexus gathering all these cords into one little bundle going through towards the other side of your body all of these are out of the solar plexus let's move it out of the boundaries of the body and pull them out of your energy and burn them with dragon's breath. <sighs> Immediately, let's heal the solar plexus so you don't hemorrhage any, any energy. Okay. Okay, everything is sealed. Now let's pull in light and the space we liberated by removing the cords, let's fill it with light, divine light, pulling energy through the soul star and the powerful bridge into the crown, washing the crown and third eye, going to the back of the head, cleansing and strengthening the jade gate, coming to the throat, going into the shoulders and arms, all the way to the tips of the fingers, and now washing the heart. Heart is in perfect condition and now washing the solar plexus and strengthening it, encouraging the life force and the light to go down, down into the earth. It's not quite making it. There's probably some lower chakra damage. We'll fix that. Solar plexus, thumbs up. Sacral next, creativity. Good, little cleansing required. Minimal, nothing out of the ordinary. So let's do a cleanse. On the sacral. Good. Didn't take long at all. Now vacuuming up what we broke into the consistency of dry sand. Vacuuming up every last little particle out of your energy. And now encouraging the light to wash over. Strengthening the torrent of divine light. Light and love and healing from the Most High. Okay, that's good. A root chakra mm, energy harvesting going on, um, but this happens to 85% of humanity, nothing out of the ordinary. 
harvesting of kundalini energy um, easy fix no problem so the same way we remove the ai and the cords from the solar plexus i'm going to remove the mechanism from the root uh, fourth and fifth dimensional puncture wounds into the tailbone and sacral plexus uh, the hip bone uh, from the back will remove this out of your energy so let's shift this by the way they don't have the manpower to replug so once it's out it's out okay um, so from the right side, the right hip, entering the body and collecting all these little plugs, these punctures, pipes and whatnot out of the, out of the hip area. So pushing to one side, going through the roots, going over the sacral plexus and tailbone past the midpoint, pushing it out, root is clear, um, cords going into the thighs, also connecting to the kidneys, gently removing those and bundling it up with the rest uh, out of the boundaries of the body and now completely out of your aura. And let's burn this. Immediately healing. Let's give the root a boost. Divine Masculine Cedar. Now let's bring in even more light. Everything above the heart is at full potential. So Soul Star looking perfectly healthy. Bridge. Okay, let's do a little cleansing on the bridge. Okay, more light coming in. Perfect. It just burnt away what we broke up. Crown. Perfect color returned. Perfect orientation. Good. Third eye. Mm, circulating perfectly. In alignment. Perfect orientation. Good. Uh, jade gate perfectly healthy. Throat looking perfectly healthy. High heart. Good. Heart. Amazing. Solar plexus has been washed clean, sacral clean, root clean. Now extending into both hips and entering the feet, entering the legs, going down. Knee level, pushing down towards the ankles. Now under, so mid, mid knee, mid shin, from that point downwards, more of this uh, goo or tar substance trying to disconnect you from the earth, the consciousness of the earth, uh, the energy, the energetic grids. So um, we're going to push it into the ground and ask Mother Gaia to transmute this. Um, okay, it's not, it's not a dumb substance. It's got some level of sentience. So pushing it down with the light into one little bundle, cleaning the feet out through the heels and the base of your feet, removing it from your energy like an insulator. So pushing it away from your energy and washing it with light. Okay, so I'm gonna contain this in one little bundle. We'll deal with this later for now. Let's make sure your connection is, the energy circuitry is connected. Uh, Earth star, Earth star to root, a damage to the bridge, the final l l piece of your link uniting heaven and earth. So we'll do the same, encouraging more light from the root and every photon spiraling into the earth star is awakening it and strengthening the bridge, washing the whole system thoroughly and powerfully encouraging more energy to go through from the soul star through your vessel into the earth star <sighs> encouraging more energy the bridge is mending so 
So I'm feeling much less tension now. So I'm going to continue with the stream of energy for as long as it is beneficial to you. Now the boundaries, your aura. Let's repair this and give you some upgrades, defensive upgrades. So it ricochets off you. So giving you every color of the flame, every ray of fire, and that it may come into action as appropriate with its own divine intelligence, without burdening you. Everything is clear. Now you've got the flow from higher dimensions, from the divine realm into the earth. Now, let's start the reverse flow of energy, earth to heaven. So, calling our beloved Mother Gaia. And asking for healing and energy, life force. For she gives birth to our vessel. Now, pulling in all of this blessing and healing into your earth star. Spiraling upwards. Hitting the base of your feet, spiraling upwards, knee level, upwards into the hips, nourishing the root, spiraling up into the tandem and sacral and solar plexus, through the heart and higher heart, reaching throat level, now pouring into the shoulders, down all the way to your fingertips, spiraling up like roots absorbing nutrients from the earth, spiraling up through the jade gate, third eye and crown, and again pushing up into the soul star and pushing it higher into the divine realms, connecting earth to heaven. And so encouraging both streams of healing and life-giving energy to its maximum potential within your vessel Perfect. Now going around the boundaries of the aura. Second time. And final time, giving the aura a mirror polish. The different flames, divine flames, are working perfectly. So the violet fire doesn't necessarily work on denser energies. It has to be appropriate, transmuted at the heart with the refer being the reference. So all of these are in place. Okay, that's dealing with this vessel. Uh, the noble vessel that carries the shard from your infinite being. And so this stream of energy from the divine realm into the earth and from earth to the divine realm is unobstructed. Okay, good. So, you asked about your lovely sons. So, now we can start working. There was so much going on, causing agitation. Now that being removed, uh, let's have a look. First, let us begin with you. Protection and healing does not describe the nature of your energy. Balance is something that requires equal measures of light and dark to reach that sacred point. And so through different ages, you have acted to push the collective energy towards this neutrality. So clarity can emerge. This has been your life journey for the past few incarnations, including this one dispelling distortion. For that is the most powerful way that humanity is prevented from growing. Once the mind is enslaved, they never reach awareness of whom and what they are. Specific bloodline, through 
the vessel that you have incarnated in, you are subjected to um, contracts that affect the bloodline. But that's not just the only objective. Uh, it is a measure of control placed upon uh, those amongst humans that are placed in positions of leadership. This goes all the way back. Now, once this is broken, it is broken because these are fourth and fifth dimensional inflictions upon a very certain caste. So you have chosen to be inflicted by this to break it. Once you break it, you've broken it. And I'm getting goosebumps as I speak this. Because that is the truth. You are breaking it. Now, looking a little ahead in time, as in legacy, as in the next few centuries, you have succeeded. Um, what you are doing every day is this. Uh, it will have... It will... It will. Um, so, going now into the future, my, my timing is a little um, jumbled up. The p seeds are planted. The conditions are fertile and these will sprout, affecting the leadership cast amongst humanity through liberating yourself. Uh, the energetic spell, fourth and fifth dimensional control, the shackle upon those who are invested with uh, protecting the masses is going to be broken in all time. This is not an easy mission, and it would explain part of the abnormal level of, um, of attacks that you have been receiving throughout your life. Pre-birth, as soon as the vessel was allocated to your soul shard, this would have begun. Through early life, childhood, things going wrong in an unusual way, people coming in that are unusually distorted and so on things happening in from a physical level to a global level targeting you in a way that doesn't really make sense now this includes energetics and technology but this is all to prevent uh, what you are doing which has not worked the only effect that it has had on you is added frustration So, let's see your relationship with your wonderful sons. They are linked. Both are one, but separate. Their energies are mirroring each other, and there is a powerful connection between both, complementing. Uh, one going up, the other going down but both as a unit. They are here to support you. It is not the other way around. And whether consciously or not, they have been doing this beyond this single lifetime. Uh, whether you were the three of you, the three musketeers, or whether there's a, um, a blood relation, this support has been in place. And... As soon as they incarnated, they have started doing this, um, taking a lot of the heat and transmuting it. So, lightening your burden regarding their physical health. Uh, they, they would benefit from um, relaxation. Um, there's nothing like a genetic time bomb in their vessel. It's all quote-unquote normal. Uh, but as they have been transmuting immense amounts of energy, so the three, you are a team, very, very much so. Whenever you would have felt the burden of pain, they would have supported you, both physically, emotionally, mentally and energetically. So the same thing that you are feeling, they are feeling. So relaxation would do them wonders. So perhaps next time you have a chance, all three go for a spa day or something like that. Uh, that would be really good for all of you. 
Yeah, they live far what? away now, but I was planning, wanting to plan a trip with them, so, yeah. Amazing. That will do all of you wonders. So the first ones to benefit from your victory are the direct um, ancestors, uh, the ones genetically linked to you. And they are heavily invested in your success. They see it already occurred out of linear time and they rejoice and celebrate you. Uh, the strength that you, that you are, the nobility that you are, goes beyond limitations of space and time. So it's an honor for the bloodline to have a soul like you incarnate within them. You are breaking something that none of them could. None of them could. It needed a specialist, which is your soul, to come in and do this. You see, although energetically you have been afflicted by the bombardment, which would break a regular person, you have spoken the truth. Nothing damaged your throat. Uh, and not only that, you have held the weight for countless others to do the same. So not only is your sole mission a success, you are making sure many, many others succeed. And I must include myself. Um, your wisdom has had a profound effect on my journey very early on. And so on behalf of all those that you are helping in the ocean of time, I would like to say thank you. Uh, we all honor you. Um, you are a beacon of light. And restricting what you do to good or bad is inadequate. You are divine balance and harmony. That is the nature of your energy. Even though the mistakes I made with my, I just feel the, my boys got the brunt of so much of my stress. But I guess it makes sense if we're a team. It's just it seemed like they had to handle more than I wish than I wanted them to be. I mean, I just didn't want to expose them at all to any of it. Seems like it must have been a they part are, of an agreement because I couldn't shield them. <laughs> they are built for this. Uh, this is not the first um, realm that has turned into a dumpster fire that you have helped fix. And these noble souls... The, this pair that is one have been with you in many, many different realms. Let's move time out of it. They are with you and they are a lot stronger than you give them credit for. As in they would, t each one of them would take the entire load and go, oh, what's this? So they have not been damaged. Quite to the contrary, through this incarnation, they have earned rites of passage as a soul, becoming even stronger even stronger uh, and also you the conditions of the ruling classes in this planet because of so much interference are unusually tough um, breaking the shackles on the ruling classes please extend to all those that you know of the bloodlines and so on we're talking about them you're liberating these poor people and so when they are liberated, sometimes we think, what is wrong with the ruling class? Are they this dumb? No, no, no. They have no choice. They really don't. You're liberating them. So they can speak the truth that you so valiantly speak. You will see this within your lifetime. This lifetime. So keep being awesome, Laura. And any time that I can help, I'm at your service, day or night. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much. It's so my duty. Oh, so, so, so you're saying liberating the ruling classes in the, the corruption so that they can heal? Um, think about how they are bound through temptation, through blackmail. All the dirty tricks in the book are part of the conditions of them being accepted into the club, sometimes deception. And once they know what is what is too late, they're already in, signed in. 
some of these conditions would extend to their progeny. That's how you got in. With a, a degree of freedom to allow you to operate, but yet still have an energetic core to this dam structure to break it, like a fuse exploding the whole bomb. And so this goes on today, and this is what is being removed. Now imagine the impact of uh, leadership on humanity that doesn't sell out because they have no dirt, because they are not afraid, because they are not um, dirtied by corruption and all the stuff that we are all aware of. This is monumental. They won't sell out the population to corporations, to war, to pollution of their food and water, to subjugating all of us to different medications and whatnot. You see, it has to be corruption at that level. That is what you are targeting. It is powerful. You're liberating these poor people. Many of them will say things at the end of their life that they would not dare to for fear of uh, harm to people they love. They're not happy with it either. There are noble people, good people among the ranks of the leadership. You're removing the energetic structure that is binding them. This is powerful. This is powerful. I've never come across a, um, a, a, soul, um, a soul journey or a life plan like this. Mm. So naturally, this is not obstructed. If I can see it, the opposition can also. And so this would explain this unusual level of bombardment. But just know this is not your first rodeo. You've got a track record of success. That's why they brought you in. Right. And once you break this, you're off to the next um, war zone somewhere else, because that's what you do. You're the instrument of the divine. The you're the one that gives a fair chance to species. And humanity really needs what you are doing. Gosh. It is really that that grand. So even the all the censorship and everything, and I mean, and my mistakes, maybe. Oh, not that it's really an issue now, but I mean, I, I can't say it's been easy with substances. You know, sometimes I drink too much. Sometimes I've done things that are not maybe the higher way I could be healing or coping <laughs> well let's just put it this way you're going to have the last laugh there is no shame in rest there is no shame in excess it's all hello part everybody of the path. happy so happy new moon it's um it's all part of the path so remove that idea because sometimes in order to ascend we must go down and then we go up it's not a straight path. No problem. Looking into the outcome of all of it, as in uh, measuring the weight of your heart against a feather. Your heart is light. You see, don't look at that tiny little quote-unquote mishap. You have, you're not aware of the profound, positive, beautiful effect that you have on countless people. And so, therefore, in the grand scheme of things, you are most beloved by the divine and those who are aware of you. And they are the majority of the people who feel the energy. Sometimes they also understand the nature of this. Of course, there have been burdens. That is the nature of this. There is no burden upon you. There is only positivity. It's, it's okay. That's what I'm trying to say. It's all okay considering the pressure you have been under it is completely okay it's all good you're winning oh gosh that's amazing to hear and yeah i don't know why i've been worried so much about my boys i wake up it's constant it's constant and about their health for some reason they seem very healthy but i i what you kind of put it into terms because i've seen their astro chart and there's many ways to define aspects but i'm like these aspects could be a ticking time bomb in their health. So should I stress about them getting checked out or should I just kind of let go, let them navigate their journey and trust? I mean, I can encourage, so, but I got to step back too, right? The worry 
is a distortion. The love is perfect. Yes, uh, encourage them to get a checkup. Yeah, blood work, whatnot. There's no harm in that. And then you can conclusively relax. A lot of this worry is part of the distortion uh, that you have been inflicted by these AIs. One of them was going on health, health, health through the heart again. They know the love that you have for your sons naturally. So that's the way they're trying to hurt you. That is gone. Now you see, you see clearly you're at a relaxed state thinking um, without any distortion. So health check, yes. And once it all comes back clear, then you relax. And that insistent thought that was an AI doing this, that's out of the way. And so um, it is my honor to be your, uh, I'm going to give you a lifetime car wash voucher. Yes, <laughs> energy car wash voucher, lifetime. I'm so, I'm so blown away by you. My gosh, it means so much to me. You just have healed my heart so much. You were my, my, my esteemed friend, my, my beloved teacher. Uh, you have been enduring what no human should. The fact that you are walking and talking is astonishing. Please do not underestimate the immensity of your soul. It goes beyond a single universe. And once you see this, um, you know that this has been a middle mid-level difficulty journey. Like five out of ten places you have been and things you have done have been much more severe. You've got this. You've got it like, like you wouldn't believe. It's just the unpleasantness that is inflicted on the conscious mind and emotions uh, that they have. They can't touch your higher energy. No way. So it's just through anxiety and annoyance that they're trying to suppress you. You're not corruptible. You're not turning sides. That is not your nature. You're doing your thing valiantly. And so they try to... Um, be a nuisance. That is all they can do. And so now the awareness of this. So if your tech goes wonky, if people say dumb stuff online, this is all of that nature. See lots of low vibrational stuff, like an army of fire ants trying to take down an elephant. It's just an annoyance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and amazing. also, myself feels. Oh. anyway, to, towards, towards, um, helping uh, bring more relaxation and a state of ease to you. Um, I offer um, just this energy cleanse for both of your sons. If they choose to accept, it would be my absolute honor to do this for them. I know they are also under a lot of stress because of the nature of who they are, the support for you. So uh, please extend this offer. It comes from the heart. May it find its way to the heart. Um, any time, absolutely, I would be delighted to do this. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, do the spa thing. And then, um, yes, the, the energy car wash thing. And just know that you are winning. You're winning. Otherwise, they'd let you be. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm so grateful to do this on a new moon. I'm going to really listen again and just take it all in. And absolutely. I know all the clear but i i just definitely just gonna listen again and again and... <laughs> absolutely absolutely so um dear lady eisenhower thank you it's been an honor to be of service to you um yes as soon as the zoom processes i'll send you the i'll send you the link to the same uh email you gave me wonderful thank you so much it's been thank incredible. you thank you all the very best to you any time any time just let me know i'm i'm your um loyal servant and guardian oh my gosh i'm so blown away i can't even begin to tell you thank you thank you much love bless to you. you all the best to you take care goodbye thank bye you. for now bye bye, -bye.